uh, a beautiful city nearby uh, in Shanghai, in China. And today my presenting topic is about the uh, metabolic engineering of business for the production of acetic glucosamine. <coughs> Uh, now, uh, first, uh, I want to introduce the structure and the function of glucosamine. Uh, glucosamine is derived from substitution of a hydroxy group of glucose molecular with an uh, amino group. Uh, glucosamine and its derivative uh, acetic glucosamine uh, are very important compounds uh, which have a wide application in cartilage cell and the joint yeast tissue. Uh, clinical <coughs> clinical trials with glucosamine for treatment uh, demonstrate that uh, uh, it is necessary to repair and uh, maintain healthy cartilage and uh, joint function. Not global uh, glucosamine and uh, city glucosamine market is uh, uh, estimated to reach 20,000 ton in um, 2017 year and the total market value is uh, about uh, five billion in dollar. Um, <coughs> there are three methods for the production of glucosamine and uh, acetic glucosamine. The first one is uh, acetic uh, hydrolysis of chitin. Uh, this method is the main method uh, used for the production of glucosamine. And uh, the other is enzymatic hydrolysis of chitin. And the last one is uh, microbial fermentation. Uh, for the first one, for the acidic uh, hydrolysis of chitin, um, this method has several um, problems or uh, disadvantages. The first one is, uh, for this method, the quantities of acid and base are needed. This <laughs> will cause severe pollution and are very harmful for the equipment. And also, this method is, uh, has heavy metal um, pollution and uh, so the purification process is uh, um, compli complex. And uh, so uh, the product uh, from the hydrolysis of chitin uh, has potential allergic effects on certain people. So <coughs> now this, this method is, uh, replaced, is, is being replaced by the other uh, method. The other is enzymatic hydrolysis of chitin. Yeah, this, for this method, two enzymes are necessary, and uh, so the reaction time is very long, and uh, the productivity is uh, low, and uh, both of uh, both of two times are needed for the complete uh, enzymatic hydrolysis. One is chitinase, and the other is chitosynthesis. <coughs> and uh, so, uh, this method now is only limited in the lab research, and uh, there are no uh, industrial uh, application. And uh, the last one is uh, microbial fermentation for the glucosamine and the CT glucosamine production. Yeah, this method <coughs> has short fermentation period and uh, so the productivity is relatively high. And uh, there is no limitation for the uh, raw material supply and uh, so this method is uh, environmentally friendly and no allergic effects. So, <coughs> now in fact, uh, uh, microbial fermentation now is uh, is attracting more and more attention yeah, in the academic field. And uh, for the production host of glucosamine, yeah, in fact, there are many, many uh, micro, microbes or uh, microorganisms can be used for the production of glucosamine. And the uh, bacillus, subtilis uh, for glucosamine production as a host yeah, has several uh, advantages. Uh, for example, uh, uh, first one, this uh, this uh, microbe is is a GRAS, GRAS, and uh, this this is one of the most well characterized gram-positive uh, microbe, and uh, so there are many wide range of tools available for metabolic engineering, and uh, there is not posing a face infection problem during the industry. Uh, application of pr production. So, uh, bacillus subtilis is uh, uh, widely used in the production of uh, chemicals. <coughs> yeah, for our for our group, uh, we have used this uh, um, 
microgroup as a host uh, for the production of glucosamine. And uh, this are the work we have, uh, we have done. The first is uh, for expression of two key enzymes. One is glucosamine synthesis, and the other is uh, uh, glucosamine ACT transferase. Uh, to reach the, the production of glucosamine. And on the basis of this work, we knock out uh, uh, four genes to block the degradation of glucosamine. Also, we did the uh, directed evolution of two enzymes. <coughs> and we also blocked the acidic byproducts accumulation uh, to improve the glucosamine production and titer. Uh, so, uh, to further improve the titer of glucosamine, we expressed uh, anti PFK and anti uh, GRMM small RNA to balance the metabolic flux towards the synthesis of glucosamine to improve the glucosamine synthesis efficiency and the titer. Also, we did the respiration chain engineering to decrease the metanesis of the microbe to improve the uh, metabolic efficiency. And also, we did the flux balance analysis and uh, uh, find the target to delete for deletion and to further improve the um, glucosamine production. So, yeah, next I will introduce uh, how this work are done. The first uh, work is to, is to exp uh, express two K enzymes. One is uh, glucosamine synthesis, and the other is uh, uh, glucosamine. Uh, state transferis. Yeah. Uh, by or expression of these two enzymes, the initial ac accumulation of glucosamine and the uh, uh, CT glucosamine was reached. Uh, but the titer is about uh, 230 gram, uh, milligram per liter. But you can find that uh, at the later phase of fermentation, the glucosamine titer decreased due to the catabolic reaction uh, in the intracellular <coughs> of the bacillus. So yeah, in the next uh, work, uh, we deleted one gene, NAGP gene, to block the uh, imp importation of our product from the outside uh, of the cell into the, uh, to the intracellular. So the deletion of this gene uh, blocked the extracellular importation, and uh, this uh, improved the glucosamine titer uh, to uh, about uh, 620 milligram per liter. And also we uh, deleted three, another three gene to further uh, block the degradation of glucosamine intracellular, uh, NGA, NGB, and the GMA. And the deletion of this region <coughs> uh, further improved the glucosamine uh, titer to 1.8 gram per liter, yeah, which was about 17 fold higher than that of the control. We also did the uh, direct evolution of glucosamine synthesis to improve its catalytic efficiency. Yeah, so we got a mutant uh, with improved uh, Threefold uh, catalytic efficiency. Uh, so the uh, the use of a mutant uh, further increased the um, yield yield and titer of the glucosamine. Yes, this is the direct evolution of another key enzyme uh, to improve its uh, catalytic efficiency. Yeah, we also explored why uh, the mutant the mutant uh, has improved uh, catalytic efficiency. Uh, we also uh, did the expression uh, optimization by use of two promoter C term to express GNA1 and uh, GRMS. And uh, based on the two promoter C term for expression of GNA1 and uh, GRMS, the titer of glucosamine reached uh, uh, two point five gram per liter increased by thirty percent. And uh, yeah we also uh, delete the formation of uh, two byproducts, one is lactate and the other is acetate. Uh, by deletion of the formation by block uh, by blocking the formation of 
lactate and acetate. Uh, the glucosamine titer reached uh, 4.5 gram per liter and uh, uh, 5.2 gram per liter respectively, yeah, which uh, was about two-fold higher than uh, that before deletion of the lactate and the uh, acetate. And uh, <coughs> yeah, to further improve the, uh, the titer and uh, the yield of glucosamine, uh, we use the um, modular pathway engineering um, to improve, to balance the metabolic flux towards the uh, synthesis of our product. Yeah, here uh, we use the small RA technology um, to uh, inhibit the other two mod modular and uh, uh, improve the flux towards the target product modular. Yeah, we express uh, anti PF PFK is a key enzyme um, <coughs> in one modular. Control the activity uh, glycolysis modular at a uh, medium level, about uh, 60%. Uh, and we express an uh, anti GRMM small RNA uh, to decrease the another to decrease to decrease the activity uh, of another. Um, modular peptide glycan modular at uh, about sixty uh, percent, and by co expressing uh, of these two um, small RNA, and uh, we also express the co press the uh, another um, protein HFK protein. We can control the activity uh, activity of glycolysis and uh, um, peptide uh, peptide glycan modular at a very low level, about thirty percent. And uh, so we do the uh, different combination of these three, um, uh, three modular uh, with at a different uh, level, high, mid, medium, and uh, uh, low level. And yeah, by this modular passive engineering method, uh, the glucosamine production, <laughs> production reached about uh, 8.3 gram per liter. And we also did the uh, respiration and chain engineering to block uh, one uh, respiration chain with low efficiency to improve the metabolic efficiency. Yeah, we delete uh, CYG and two, two chain uh, CYG AB to block the efficient uh, respiration chain and uh, diverted the electronic flux through a more efficient respiration chain. And this improves the uh, uh, glucosamine titer to about uh, uh, 9.5 gram per liter. And this is uh, 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 glucosamine production in a three bar reactor uh, in a batch and fat batch mode. In fat batch mode, the glucosamine titer reached about uh, uh, 31 gram per liter uh, with a specific uh, production rate uh, of 0 0.054 gram per gram DW per hour. And uh, yeah, on this, on the basis of this work, uh, we further detected the fermentation broth, fermentation broth, and we found that there is a very high peak uh, during the HPRC analysis. Yeah, we use uh, <laughs> we further use uh, mass technology to find that uh, uh, this substance is acetone. Uh, <coughs> so this means that uh, uh, the during the glucosamine production. Uh, there is another byproduct, uh, a C2 formation. So in the next work, we further deleted the formation of a C2 formation to improve the production of uh, glucosamine. We also did the flux balances analysis of K metabolic uh, nodes. Yeah. So uh, we first deleted uh, the other uh, several uh, genes to block the to block the formation, uh, block the formation of uh, byproducts, for example, the acetone, the acetate, the lactate, and so on. Yeah, by <coughs> this work, uh, in a three, three liter fermenter, the final uh, glucosamine titer can reach about uh, uh, 40, 42 gram per liter. Yeah, so uh, this uh, 
our yeah, work. We uh, step by step improve the glucosamine production uh, by a series of metabolic engineering uh, strategies. <coughs> in fact, now we, we are, uh, in fact, we have uh, identified another uh, target for engineering, but uh, the related work is being done. So maybe, maybe in next, uh, uh, next work, uh, we will further improve the glucosamine production by metabolic engineering. Yes, this is a uh, related publication. Okay, thanks for your attention. Just uh, our main goal is to improve the the teacher. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Uh, the yeah, the feeding mode is changed during the uh, fat batch culture. Yeah, more glucose uh, is applied uh, compared with the batch uh, batch mode. Uh, you mean the the rate of feeding? Feeding glucose. In fact, uh, yeah, we have um, we have used the different uh, uh, different uh, feeding rates of glucose, yeah, to optimize the cell growth and the glucosamine production. Yeah. In fact, uh, uh, the optimal uh, mode is to control the glucose concentration in the fermenter is about uh, uh, five gram per liter constant. Yes, this is optimal for cell growth and glucosamine production. How fast is the cell growth? Yeah, the total fermentation time is about uh, uh, 60, uh, 50 or 60 hours. Uh, the uh, glucose, the Carbohydrate is glucose, and the uh, yeast is checked, and the some uh, inorganic uh, salt. Okay. <coughs> 